Hi everybody, welcome to the Discovery Space. My name is Taryn and today we're going to be doing a Lego activity for National Science Week. Now you might already know that this year National Science Week is focusing on our oceans. Now you can probably see where I am. I am in the Early Start Discovery Space Antarctica section surrounded by lots and lots of penguins. Now, it's really important that we try and keep our oceans nice and clean for animals like our penguins that live there. Could you imagine if your house was so dirty because people kept walking past and throwing rubbish into it? You wouldn't like that very much, would you? I know I wouldn't. So we need to make sure that we are taking responsibility and we are not throwing rubbish into our oceans because that is where animals like our penguin, like all the fish and sharks and whales and stingrays, they all live. We want to make sure they have a nice house to live in. So I thought today we might use our thinking skills and we might design, so think about and draw and then make a special machine that we could use to clean up our oceans because someone who was only a teenager actually invented a machine to take plastic out of the ocean. Isn't that amazing? So I wonder what sort of things our machine will need to do. Hmm. Well, I know that there's lots of plastic in our ocean, so it will need to collect the plastic somehow, but we don't want it to pollute even more. So maybe instead of using petrol and putting smoke into the air, our machine could just float on the top of the ocean, mm, bob around and collect plastic somehow. So I had a bit of a think about this before and I've drawn a bit of an idea down on some paper. So this is my design. This is what I think I might make. And I've got a few things on there that I thought my machine should include. I thought it should have some sort of big bit out the front to collect the rubbish so it can collect lots of rubbish and not let it get back out. So I thought maybe the rubbish could go in through our collector and come down and then get stuck and held in this big rubbish collector at the back. But there was a problem I thought of when I had this idea. If I collect everything in the way and it goes through and gets held behind, can you think of any problems with that? My thought was that what about if there's fish in the water or jellyfish or teeny tiny krill like whales eat? What about if they get caught in there because they don't know it's a rubbish collector? So I thought I would include a little filter, a little net or something to put in here to stop those fish getting caught in my rubbish collector and only keep the rubbish in and all of the animals out. And I think that that might be how I'll do it. And I've called it the Ocean Cleaner 2.0. That's going to be the name of my machine. So I've designed it, I've had a think about it. I'm going to make it now. And I thought, for my first attempt, I'm going to make it out of Lego. So you guys can do this as well. You can design what you think it could do. It doesn't have to look like mine. It could be completely different. This is your machine. So mine's going to look a bit like this. I'm going to keep this off to the side so I can look back at it. But if I come up with a better idea along the way, I might make some changes and make it even better. So I'm going to use today some Lego to make my Ocean Cleaner 2.0. So I'm going to start with my collecting bit at the front. Um, I think, oh, these look like good pieces for collecting. So I might find a couple of those. And, um, oh, I've got another little bit of Lego that I might put on the edge to make sure that nothing gets um, out of the way. So I'll put one here and I might need one more piece. Oh, here it is to put on the side there. So I've got my little collectors that are gonna go at the front and collect my rubbish. But of course I need that big back bit, don't I? So I'm gonna make that out of the biggest pieces I have here, which are these ones. And I'm gonna make it a square. I think this needs to be pretty big so that I can put it out on the water for a long time and collect lots and lots of rubbish in here. Uh, this one here. Now I've got a nice big square and that will be where the rubbish is held. But I need to join them together. So 
Maybe I'll use this. This looks like a nice bit that I can stick out here. And I need to be able to then attach these somehow. I wonder how I might do that. I've got a couple of bits I could use. Put a bit of a square on here. And, oh, a green bit out the front. That could be good. And then maybe I'll put this on the top. Here. And here. Oops. Oh, I better put them in tightly. Like that. Ooh. So I kind of followed my plan so far. My plan, my design had a rubbish collector at the front, which I've got. It had a bit of a, a um, connector in here where the rubbish goes through. And then it had a bit at the back to hold the rubbish. And I've got all of those things. But there's one thing I haven't put on yet. Can you think what it is? Yeah, it's that filter to keep out fish and all the things that aren't rubbish. So I might use this for that. And it's kind of clear and I, it's got lots of little holes in it. So a filter, things like a, a coffee filter, or maybe at your house, you might have some uh, water filters. So it takes out all the nasty bits and keeps it nice and clean. So that might be my filter that bobs along under here. And there's some holes in the bottom so that when the fish get filtered out, they can swim away and stay nice and safe. So I have got my rubbish collector here ready to go. I think I could probably give it a go, make sure that it floats on the water, bobs around, and see if I put some little bits of plastic or things like that in front of it, whether or not it might collect them and see what happens. So you could try and make your very own rubbish collecting machine for the ocean to protect animals like fish and sharks and jellyfish, and of course the penguins that live in the ocean. Can you think of anything else you could do to try and help keep the oceans clean for the animals? Hmm, I'm sure there's something we could do. Yeah, maybe next time you're down at the beach, you could have a look around and make sure that there's no rubbish in the water because things, especially like plastic and plastic bags, they, get, they end up in the oceans and they're not good for our animals. And it's very difficult sometimes to tell the difference between a plastic bag and a jellyfish for turtles. And we don't want them to eat things that aren't very good for them. So we could always go around with the ocean and collect out things and make sure that they're nice and clean. So thank you very much for coming and joining me to make our ocean cleanup machines. We'd love to see some pictures of yours if you get a chance to do them too. Have fun everybody. We'll see you next time.